all the answers in 12 are also on the daily planner. So if you are looking at your daily planner, these are attached if you are looking at um, so you will see this E12 answer key. So if you need to, if you didn't have yours done for today, um, just to make sure that you are taking a look at that and getting that filled in. On that bottom half, here's what your graph should look like, and then your answers. So y equals 3x plus 49, slope is 3, 49. Then you want to explain it in your own words. 5x, 0, again, explain what that meant. 2.5x, slope of 2.5 and 0, if you were looking. And then again, you're explaining y equals 1x plus 45, slope 1, y-intercept of 45. And then in that last one, you had a negative 5x plus 30, slope of negative 5, y-intercept of 30. So it is really key that you make sure you're understanding this. We are not handing this in because this is going to be pretty important for you to study for the test. Also looking here, it asks you to graph. Someone said, do I always have to put the beginning and the slope? No, but for most of you, if you write those two things down, you usually graph it correctly. So do you have to write this, like today when you take the quiz and I give you an equation? No, you do not have to write that. But my hint is, most of you do better if you look at that equation and you write down the B, the beginning point, and then you look at the slope, and then you even put by that slope the direction, okay? By using that base that you have your positive. Here you had a negative slope, so our negative goes down, okay? So by putting that direction right by this, most of you then graph it correctly, okay? So the quiz today, you're going to be asked to graph an equation. You're going to be asked to look at a graph, just like we did on the top half in the beginning, and write an equation. And I can't remember if there's a table also. Um, it might have been a story time. So that's what your quiz is going to be taking in just a minute. Does anyone need me? So these answers, make sure you go to the daily planner if you're going to be checking those, okay? Then, tonight, for homework, 13B, you can be starting to work on that. The answers for 13B and 14 are in the back. So 12 wasn't, 13B and 14, all those answers are back there. Anytime you finish those, you can show them to me. They are not due until the testing. I would like to see them, if possible, Monday. Monday we're going to start that new unit, and then our test is Tuesday. Today in class, if you would turn to your notes for the E13 part of your notes. Okay. You're going to be asked to interpret the slope and y-intercept. You're going to give it some situations, and then you're going to compare the put graphs with the situations. It says we are going to be thinking if we take two containers and pour water from one container into another container. We're going to be looking at the water level in the second one. We would notice rises in the water in the first one. Jake, pay attention up here. It goes down. So it says how is the slope represented in this situation? And this is what I would like everyone to write down in that first box. You are going to put down the slope is our unit rate. And in this case, it's what we are looking at how many centimeters per second that the water rises. If we are looking at this bottom one, it would be a positive slope, right? So, positive slope for this bottom one. What happens to this top one? Is it a positive or negative slope? Negative. It'd be a negative slope, right? Because it's losing water. So if we're thinking about the slope of the water level of this top one, the water level started high and it's going down, Whereas this one, if we are looking at it, our water level started at zero and it is going up, right? For this speaker versus this one, okay? If we are taking a look, it says, well, how is the y-intercept represented in this situation? If it's of the top one, right? That top one is the amount of water that we begin with in our equation. So the y-intercept in this situation that you're writing down is the amount of water in the container to begin with. This one is down at zero, right? Y intercept of zero. This one is maybe at four, like maybe you started with four centimeters of water, in, right? Okay, so thinking about these are your Y intercepts, right? The Y intercepts are here, whereas when you are looking at the slopes in this situation, 
the slope was the direction of our line. Okay, the top one was going down, this bottom beaker was filling up with a positive slope. Okay. The next part in your notes, as you take a look at this, you are asked, so today's um, project that you're going to be working on today and tomorrow will involve a number of pictures like this. The top container is emptying the water into the lower container. First, you must analyze the picture and ask the question, like, how much water is in the top container to begin with? How fast is the water draining out? So they're always going to tell you how fast it's changing. So in this one, that's this is our slope, right? Two centimeters per second. That is how fast the water is draining out. How much water is in the lower container to begin with, right? Like this one starts at two. This one starts at four. And is there a picture? Um, is there any information missing from our picture? It says you can write down the slope and y-intercept on the back of the card to help you determine what they are. Some cards are missing information, so you don't have. Um, you won't be able to get all of them right away. So in this picture, the top container started with how many centimeters of water? Four. Four centimeters on the top, right? Right here, four. The lower container started with? Two. 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 And the water rate is at? Two centimeters, two centimeters per second. So this is our M, right? This is the B on the top, right? This is the B on the bottom, okay? You're also going to get 12 cards. So the 12 cards and 12 equations. Okay, So this is what the cards look like for the graph. And then you're going to get 12 equations. And the equation cards kind of look like these. Okay, So you'll get an equation card like this. That's what you need the scissors for as you're going to be cutting all these apart. So if we are looking at the top of this one, it says, if this is showing a container is filling or emptying, would you say that this one is showing a container emptying or filling up? Both these two. Should be? Gunner? I have no idea. So if you're starting with six and the water is going down, would you say you're emptying the container or filling it up? So if the water level goes oh, down. Oh, no, no, I'm just joking. Okay. So the water level is going down. So this is empty, right? So you have to be thinking, is it filling or emptying? How much water is there to begin with? This one starts with six. This one started with two. Okay. How fast is the water level changing? That is our slope, right? This one went down, and you have to look at the units here, right? So our slope in this one would be, please write change in y divided by change in x. So here, we went down how many units? It's two marks, but it's actually six that we went down. How far did you go over? Three units. So if we are looking at a slope for this first one, we would say that our slope for our rate of change, m is equal to negative 2 over 1. So if we are thinking of that, right, we went down 6 and over 3. That means if I wanted to go at 1 second, I should be at what? If it started at 6, I should be at 4 if I'm looking at that. The water is changing. That's our slope. If we were looking at the slope of this one, please write in your notes the change in y divided by change in x. How far did our y go down? This time it went down. No, look at the units. So it looks like it's four dash marks, but it was only up to two, so that is a negative two. Just like this one was not two going down, it was six, but then this goes over, and you will notice that like we don't know what number this is. We don't know if this is a half, we don't know if this is one. It just says time is in seconds. Um, this says time is in seconds. Some of your cards are going to go by one, some might be a half. So we don't really know what our change in x is. It looks like it's a negative two over one at this point. And if there's any missing information, for example, this one, we do not know what our scale is, right? We don't know that this is 1, okay? So we really can't put that in at this point. So when you do the cards, you're going to kind of want to line them up, and you'll see some are missing some information, okay? 
So it says you can write the slope and y-intercept on the back of each card to determine what they are. Some cards are going to be missing information, so you do not want to write that slope. For example, this one, you don't want to write the slope yet. All you know is that it went down two. Third, you must match each graph card to the correct equation. So if I was looking at this equation right here, this graph, I know it starts at 6, which that is my y-intercept, and it has a slope of negative 2. That would match to this equation, okay? So this, these two look like they are a match. It says one equation is blank in the cards that you're going to get. You will need to write in the correct equation on it to match the card if there's no match. You will need to use the matching cards to fill in the missing information on the graph card. So this one looks like it's a positive 2. And if it says the slope is negative t, what's the slope here in this equation? Negative 1. Negative 1. And so if this had to be a slope of negative 1, what scale, what number would this have to be for this to be a 1? For a negative 1 slope, I would need to have this unit right here be what number? In order for this slope here <coughs> to be equal to a negative 1, what number would have to be down here? 2. It would have to be a 2, right? So that means this would be 2, and this would be 4, and this would be 6 minutes, right? So does that make sense? I didn't know what it was, but once I matched the equation, and I saw that this was 2 and the slope was negative 1, I was able to figure out the scale, okay? I am not going to help you with this. You are going to be working entirely with your partner as you do it. So here are the project instructions. It says you will match each picture with two pairs of equations and graphs. There is a graph and equation at the top for the top container, and then a picture, a different graph for the bottom one. In order to do this, you need to look at the graphs, the equations, and pictures with the same slopes. You need to look at the graphs, pictures, and equations with the same y-intercept. You will then fill in the blank graphs using the process of elimination to determine them to match it up. It says, lastly, you will match the cards on a piece of paper like shown below. When you look at this, this is what the top will look like. Then you'll have a graph, you'll have the picture, graph of the bottom, and then your bottom equation. So when you finish, and I'm going to show you what mine looks like, this is what yours will look like. You're going to do it, um, I think what we did, I have some construction paper that I'll be handing out to you, and I'll have the construction paper tomorrow. When I did mine, if you are looking at this,